G'day, Doc from Raymac Lures here with another handy tool. Omega clips. Some people love them, some people hate them. I rather, from my point of view, I kind of like them. But they are a bit of a problem to fit. So I came up with Mark 1. Um, this device has a wee little slot in the end there, about two thirds off to one side. And its job was to pick up the Omega clip, find an appropriate piece of lumber, and put some slots in it, and then I could just pop it in. So this tool is just a... Then I decided that um, this one was a little clunky and didn't look very nice, so I came up with Mark II that was a little bit larrier and I polished it up and I only used one magnet in the end there. Still had the two thirds off to one side, 1.6 1 1, more wide slot in there. I made it the slot just a slight amount deeper than the previous one um, so that it could actually make picking up, make picking them up a little bit easier. And popping them in there like so. And now the clip doesn't fall out and it performs the duty that it absolutely wanted to do. Um, how I was putting them in previously was to hang on to one leg with a pair of vice grips and yeah, a pair of pliers. I've used all sorts of things and I come up with this. Yeah, so it's just a piece of aluminium. I drilled a, a wee hole in there. These are a five millimeter round axially um, orientated magnetic pull Ooh. Um, magnetic pull so the mag the north and south pole is this way and that way now a few people are going to say that stainless steel shouldn't be magnetic well that's not true when you work stainless steel it changes its grain structure slightly and it makes the iron particles line up when you stress by bending it. So anytime you process stainless steel, it will become slightly magnetic. These are very, very powerful magnets. They're N55s. So you need very, very strong magnets. You need small ones as well so that it actually pulls it into the middle, right? The aluminium is not conductive. So it's only the magnet that's actually doing the pulling. The magnetism, you know, even though these are a strong magnet, it can barely support two. Yeah, it won't support another clip off the end of that one. So, yeah, stainless steel is kind of non-magnetic, but as I said, once you process it, it does change its crystalline structure and it does become slightly magnetic. And I do stress slightly, I mean, there's no way that this will pick up that bib with that, oh, just. But, yeah. So, there you go, these are 316 uh, Omega clips. And that's a little tool that I use to do it. Yeah, I said you only need a small slot, about one third off the middle. Place the magnet in the middle of that slot and you'll see that the magnet's offset as well. It's rather deeper there and it's pretty much flush on that side. That's to make sure that the parts pull up into there. The reason why it's a third offset is so that when it slides underneath, when it slides underneath, that it has good access. And the rest is pretty much, you can design it however you want. I've designed it this way so that I could pick up parts like so and push down and use this index finger to, to line up my grooves. Anyway, hope that's helped some people. Catch you next time.